Hello, my name is Pete Losey. I'm the manager of device technology development at United Silicon Carbide. I'd like to thank you for your interest in this presentation entitled Designing with United Silicon Carbide FETs. In this presentation, we'll start with an introduction to United Silicon Carbide FETs and our expanding portfolio of products. Next, we'll look at gate drive guidelines when considering these parts. We'll look at simple ways to manage the switching waveforms of these fast components. And then we'll move on to discuss benefits of using packages with Kelvin source connections, which offer key advantages for wide band gap devices. Finally, we'll refer potential designers to the new United Silicon Carbide FET user guide that's become available on our website. Silicon Carbide growth has been felt in a variety of applications over the past several years. At United Silicon Carbide, like many of our competitors, We've observed a growing number of design wins with our FET technology in the server power supplies, telecom rectifiers, PV inverters, high power lighting, onboard chargers, battery chargers, and industrial power supplies. United Silicon Carbide FETs offered at 650 and 1200 volt classes offer a number of attractive features to designers. These switches employ a high performance cascode configuration with optimized silicon carbide JFETs and low voltage silicon MOSFETs. They have an integral body diode with excellent performance, which is a low knee voltage, a low forward drop, and low recovery charge. Superior thermal performance allows substantial current ratings in conventional packages. Another nice feature of the United Silicon Carbide FETs are their simplicity and versatility. They have an integrated ESD gate protection, and they can be operated efficiently and safely across a range of typical silicon and silicon carbide gate drive voltages. To this end, they work well as a drop-in replacement with standard silicon 0 to 12 volt designs or with established silicon carbide MOSFET gate, gate drive voltage ranges of 15, 18, or even 20 volts. At United Silicon Carbide, we continue to expand our product portfolio to meet the emerging needs of our customers. We now offer silicon carbide shocky diodes, standalone silicon carbide JFETs, and our FETs, which are the topic of this discussion. Our third generation FETs now have two series of products in both 650 and 1200 volt class. Following our successful launch of our UJ3C series, we've now released our faster UF3C series parts. As the UJ3C series parts offered customers a bit more ease of use in transitioning to silicon carbide, the UF3C series aims to take the training wheels off and allow designers even faster switching and lower switching losses. Consequently, as we've taken the brakes off the FET, we now offer Kelvin source packages such as the 4 lead TO247, 7 lead D2 pack, and DFN 8x8. Of course, we maintain the three lead package options, such as the TO220, three lead D2 pack, and TO247 as well. This chart shows the comparison of the UJ and UF parts in the same three lead TO247 packages at 650 and 1200 volts. While the on resistance, thermal performance, and current ratings have not changed, the F series parts offer lower losses for higher switching frequency applications especially where hard switching at turn on is needed. Notably, the QRR is reduced by 40 to 50%, despite the same forward voltage drop. As I mentioned earlier, Kelvin source connected discretes are important for getting the most performance out of new high speed wide band gap switches. We now offer four lead TO247 products in 650 volt class at 27 milliohms, 42 milliohms, and 80 milliohms and in the 1200 volt class at 35 milliohms and 80 milliohm sizes. The elimination of the common source inductance allows for extremely fast switching, cleaner gate waveforms, and no false triggering. Here we illustrate these benefits with UF3C 1200 volt 40 milliohm United Silicon Carbide FETs, packaged in conventional three lead and Kelvin source connected four lead TO247s. The solid lines are the switching waveforms obtained with the four lead product, and the dotted lines are those with the three lead package. In each case, the device was switched with 800 volts, 40 amps in a half bridge configuration. 
RG on was 3 ohms and RG off was 10 ohms. Note the much faster transition times and lower losses with the Kelvin source connected parts. The turn off loss was reduced from 208 microjoules to 170 microjoules. And the E on was reduced from 1300 microjoules to just 845 microjoules. Importantly, however, notice that even under much faster transitions, the gate signal of the four lead product offers cleaner waveforms and lower voltage spikes. Let's look a little bit closer at the gate drive of United Silicon Carbide FETs. They're firmly normally off and their threshold voltage is five volts, stemming from the low voltage silicon MOSFETs in the cascode configuration. The VGS max is plus and minus 25. However, a gate drive from zero to 12 is sufficient in most cases, especially in soft switch ZVS applications where turn on transition time need not be minimized. The United Silicon Carbide FETs have no issue with negative gate drive and can be used with any vo voltage range so long as the correct gate resistance is used. They're compatible with a wide range of gate drive and gate drive ICs tailored for silicon MOSFETs, IGBTs, or silicon carbide MOSFETs. They're also compatible with simple gate drive transformers. United silicon carbide FETs have a low gate charge coming from the low voltage silicon MOSFET. Shown here, the QG of a 40 milliohm 1200 volt FET is less than 50 nanocoulombs when switch 800 volts 40 amps. The DVDT in the cascode is primarily controlled by the silicon carbide JFET's built in gate resistance, which is fixed inside the product, and secondarily by the choice of the external MOSFET RG, which is defined by the user. Generally, the turn off is much faster than turn on in a cascode, so a higher RG off is required. In this chart, showing switching loss versus drain current when switched in a three lead TO247, you can see that there is a benefit to turn on loss reduction when driving the gate with 15 or 18 volts as opposed to 12 volts. This occurs at higher currents as the common source inductance of the package tends to debias the gate drive under high DIDTs. The use of ferrite beads in the gate path can also help control gate ringing and allow the use of smaller RG off values. The smaller RG values yield reduced delay times and lower turnoff losses as shown in the graph. In the chart, the blue curves represent the UJ3C 80 milliohm 1200 volt product in a three lead TO247. The RG off is 20 ohms, whereas similarly clean waveforms can be achieved with RG reduction down to only 3.3 ohms and the use of a ferrite bead as shown in the red curves. Here we also give some optional parts that work well with United Silicon Carbide FETs. Here we can see similar waveforms obtained on the left with RG off of 20 ohms and on the right with 3.3 ohms but with a ferrite bead. The turn on peak is slightly lower as the DIDT is reduced but delay times and turn off losses are reduced. United Silicon Carbide's normally on JFET technology has very low specific on resistance and resultingly smaller die size. This, along with their device architecture, leads to very low CDS and COSS. This allows the use of very small snubber capacitors to effectively manage switching waveforms controlling voltage overshoot and reducing current ringing, even when using relatively high inductance packages like the TO247. With small RC snubbers, the net loss impact added by the snubber is very small, with 1 to 5% typical depending on the operating conditions. This small loss, let's say a quarter watt to two watts, is manageable with surface mount components, even when switching 800 volts and 50 amps. In this example, we're showing the turnoff waveform of a 1200 volt 40 milliohm cascode in a three lead TO247, switching 50 amps, 800 volts. While one may reduce the turnoff ringing with very high RG off, this would lead to long delay times. Here, a small snubber effectively cleans up the ringing on the drain current and voltage waveforms and virtually eliminates any ringing on the gate source waveform as shown on the bottom right. 
In this case, the snubber loss was measured to add less than 2.5% of the total switching loss at light load of 10 amps and merely less than 1.5% at 50 amps. Here we show the turn on and turn off waveforms of a UF3C 1200 volt 40 milliohm 4 lead TO247 product and a half bridge on the left and the voltage measured across a small 10 ohm snubber resistor on the right. By integrating the voltage across a snubber resistance, we can measure the actual snubber loss stemming from practical waveforms where the device regulates a finite dBdt. In the table shown, we compare the measured snubbered losses to the total switching losses for the parts shown on the previous slides. As you can see, even in light load of 10 amps, snubber only accounts for 1.4% of the total switching losses. While Kelvin source packages are not yet dominating the industry, we clearly see the performance benefits of these packages and believe they'll grow in demand over the next few years, especially as multiple suppliers come online. We've developed our United Silicon Carbide FETs in Kelvin source DFN 8x8, 7 lead D2 pack, and 4 lead TO247 packages. By overcoming the common source inductance problem, especially in the, that of the leaded TO247, the parts can switch much faster with cleaner gateway forms under high DIDT. The new UF3C parts offer a dramatic improvement in Eon loss. In this chart, we compare the Eon loss versus drain current for the UJ3C 3 lead TO247 in the gray curve with the new UF3C 1200 volt 40 milliohm part in a 4 lead TO247 and a small RC snubber in the green curve. It's noted that the snubber loss is included in this green curve. You can see that you can cut Eon loss by up to 50% and still maintain well-behaved waveforms with the UF3C 4 lead TO247 option and a small snubber. Looking at turnoff losses, similar results can be observed. While the savings at low currents is offset by the presence of the snubber, the UF3C 4 lead TO247 offers substantially lower losses at nominal current levels of 30 amps or more. Even at 50 amps, we see very low turnoff losses with the new parts of less than 200 microjoules. If we represent the effect of soft switching EOF as the EOF on the hard switching less the combination of the EOSS and snubber stored energy, then we can compare the UJ3C and UF3C options under soft switching. Again, we see a benefit of the UF3C products as well. As we continue to expand our product portfolio, we've now launched our new silicon carbide FET user guide that's up on the website. This resource should help customers navigate to the right product depending on their application. In the user guide, you can find things like our recommended gate resistance for the desired gate drive voltage, or a recommended snubber design whenever applicable. We also suggest which product and package type one may want to consider based on their end application. We offer the user guide across both the 650 and 1200 volt portfolios. We also listed some suggested RC snubber part numbers that work well for the expected power levels. We hope that the new products in the portfolio, such as the UF series parts and the Kelvin source packages, continue to help customers get the most out of United Silicon Carbide FET performance, and also continue to get the right products in the right applications. Thank you for your time hearing about United Silicon Carbide's exciting lineup of new FETs.